What's the theme tonight? Like jerseys. Uh, just jerseys? They're going to mess up something. They're going to drop a lot of cash or they're going to drop the tickets. They're going to do something. Mess up something. We're not live audio. Thank you. For <laughs> once. You sure about that? It's gonna be awful. Can we just shut this down now, Paul? Who are you guys up <laughs> Hey, are you sticking around seriously? Yes. Are you are you gonna be able to like kind of check on the um, Cohasset Drury game? Yeah. What's happening? I um I got I got Mass Live. He told me about Cohasset Sports. Okay. That's their AD. And then uh, I think the Patriot Ledger covers them. So I, I tapped in all three of them. Can you fly this plane and land it? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> I told him, Tommy, I like 1366 now. <laughs> I told him, I told him, they have, they have like three minutes. Three minutes to get all the quotes out. Three minutes. Derek, hey, nervous? <laughs>
<laughs> Welcome everyone to our playoff matchup here between the Air Shirley Panthers and your Gales of Clinton. Surely you can't be serious. <sighs> there, <laughs> that's like, the one. You got the one. Actually, you know what? You're going to keep there's track? The, there's the tally. There's the tally. Ah. I told uh, Mr. Moisson he only gets so many quotes that uh, from Shirley, you can't be serious. Well, what, what movie is Airplane. That? It's oh. Airplane. All right, well, you got to make sure the folks at home know. Well, yeah, we got to. How about this weather, though, Mr. It's Russell? It's beautiful. This is, I feel like we should be getting ready like for a baseball game. we should open up this game. window. I mean, open it up. I don't know. It might get too too chilly. Never. Never. As we, uh, we get a look at the band there on the live view, getting ready to do the national anthem be, uh, before we kick off for this one. Gales with the home field advantage, and they will play, if they, the winner of this game will play the winner of Drury and Cohasset. Yeah, and we will do our best to try and keep our both fans, anybody from Air Shirley listening in, we're going to try to keep you guys updated on those that game, playing be, play down in Cohasset. And just before the captains come out to midfield, uh, girls soccer is going out to Great Barrington tomorrow for their thought, state uh, matchup. I thought they were leaving tonight. <laughs> and uh, the cheerleaders are competing at Lemonster High School on Sunday afternoon. I think they're slated to go on at 1230. And those things are usually pretty true to their time, but you never know. So 1230 is the estimate. We also have to throw out while we're talking about Gale sports, we have to mention the phenomenal season that field hockey had. Because their season unfortunately ended yesterday with a, their playoff loss down yep. at St. Mary's of Lynn. It was a great one. Ended up 12-3-4, and mid-walk D champions. So great job to all the ladies on the, the field hockey team. Including their coach. Who's that? And their coach's husband. Because <laughs> he had to deal with it all, all season. Yeah. Coach Russell, great job. As we get the coin toss here, and it looks like the Gales are going to receive... As we look at that, it's like Thursday Night Football in there. Amazon Prime. Seriously. Although I bet you the uh, Wi-Fi is better. <laughs> Gales will receive to start the first half. Now the Gales come in as the seven seed. Here's Shirley, who actually has a better record, Mr. Russell. Coming in, I believe it was seven and one, but they're the ten seed. Because as they, you guys know, they do the, the power, power ranking. Correct. Yeah. So it's a lot of it is strength of schedule. And obviously Air Shirley is smaller school, so they play the smaller schools. But still in Division 7. As we turn it over to the real voice of the Gales, Tom Callinan. As we get set for the national anthem by the Clinton Gales marching band. Thank you. 
As always, a great rendition there from Mr. Francois. The, the maestro. Band. The maestro. <laughs> He is. Does a fantastic well, I was job. Just, I was just thinking of the uh, the Seinfeld episode, the oh, Maestro. Oh, that's yes. what I was laughing at. Everything goes back to a Seinfeld it episode, does. does it not? All right, here we go. As we're getting ready for kickoff, nice crowd here tonight, Mr. Russell. I saw the uh, Air Shirley fan bus show up. They yeah. got a good crowd down here tonight. Snack Shack is stacked. Yeah. We got to give a shout out to Mr. Z's. Downtown Clinton. Thank you again, Mr. Z's, for the pizza. Maybe they'll bring some up to us. Who well, knows? Hey, basketball Who season's knows? coming. And from that's that's the uh, those are the grinds. That's when we need the uh, the dinner there. Three oh. games on a Wednesday. Correct. Yeah, so those of you listening. We could use some sponsorships during the winter. Which, uh, winter sports, I believe the first weekend is, or the first week of tryouts is what, two or three weeks from now? It was, uh... It's the weekend after the, Thanksgiving? Correct. I believe it's the 28th. So that's coming up, even though it doesn't feel like it out there right now. Because here we go, ready for the kickoff. Yep. And we'll send it over to the voice of the Gales, Mr. Uh -oh. Russell. Brian Holmes looking to kick this one. We'll get back. Looks like Chenard. No, is that Ramos? Angel Angel Lopez, Angel number Lopez. 42. 42. I'm all over the place to start this one. And he brings it down to the 35-yard line is where the Gales are going to start. First and 10. Looks like they're marking it at the 36. <clears throat> I've been told that uh, this is going to be a very comparable team That's, to the Gales. I've heard that all week, too. This should be a pretty even matchup as Matty Dimes under center. Going to hand it off to start. That's Chenard, and he's got a lane. He's going to get the first down across the 50. Yeah, nice run off tackle. A little sweep there. Good blocking. Looked like uh, Trevor Sear. Was that Baby Bernard out front, too? It, it was. was. Yep. Looks like we're going to give Chenard about 12 yards. It's the Gales now at the Panther 49. First and 10. Under center, Matty. Going to give it up the middle, 33. Axel Ramos. And he's going to grab about, depending on the spot, looks like about six. Yeah, I call it six. Uh, marking it five. 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 Yeah. Not the 44 yard line. So the Gales with a good offensive possession here to start the game. Yeah, second run right up the gut that time. Now it looks like air stock in the box. And that's going to go to the left side. Across the edge, he's going to get it, he does, and he's, oh, barely tripped up. Again, Axel Ramos. Take a look. Right in your living rooms, ladies and gentlemen. Same play it looked like from the first one with Alex, but this time on the opposite side. And it looks like, uh, ain't, excuse me, Axel's going to probably pick up about 20 yards there. Yeah, they're going to be on the far hash. Abdiel is going to be split out to the left, two in the backfield. Maddie's going to give it to. Oh, Shinard, he's just gone. Oh, is that. No, he's going to be taken down around the one or two. I was thinking maybe guess, horse collar for a second. But. Yeah, we uh, we do have Gene Steratore in the booth this evening. Uh, Gene, what do you think? Horse collar tackle? No, no, he says no. But hey, heck of a run anyway by uh, by Alex, who almost scored. Looks like they're down on the ball at about the one. So they're giving him about, what, 23 yards? Yeah, so first and goal. And I think it's Marky Moore, and he's going to be stuffed at about the one. Yep, number eight. 
So a nice drive here so far, Mr. Russell, to start the game. Yeah, you, you would think with first and goal at the two, you got to punch one in here. Now it looks like they did give him like half of a yard there. It's at the one line. So second. Maddie Dimes. Yeah, that's going to be good. Maddie Ice. QB sneak. We got to take a look at the replay. It looks like he just got right behind his brother. And they push the line through. The old Tom Brady play right up the gut. And the Gales got the lead to start. Yeah, nice opening drive here for the Gales. Yeah, so a, a, a great looking offensive possession, but uh, let's not count our eggs here. If you remember the last game, we had a great first few offensive series from, was it Tingsboro? Tingsboro. Tingsboro. Remember they had that hook and ladder? They were looking great. They scored, it was 14 to nothing. Yeah, so, and I'm sure the Gales were told, you know, stay within your lane. You get up, yes. keep your composure. As, Mar as Marcelo Pereira misses the extra point. Yeah, good point, because that was the last game we did. And yeah, Tingsboro raced out to a 14 nothing lead. We thought it was going to be a long night, but yeah. then the Gale scored, what, 42 yeah, unanswered, unanswered points. But regardless, it's a playoff game. It's different. These situations. Are we gonna have to have a conversation with uh, Paige Johnston about her jersey choice? Is she wearing a Yankees she jersey? She is wearing a Yankees jersey. Uh, well, I think that's, I think that's a father. Well, I think we need Coach to have a- Jay, I don't know. Yeah, we need to have a conversation with him, not, not Paige. Yeah, I guess, what was the theme tonight, Mr. Russell? Jersey, jersey night. night. Yeah. It's Jersey Night. You see a bunch of jerseys around. That's nice to see. Nice theme. And we've got a little squibber here. Picked up by the Panthers. And they're going to have a decent run back and field position here. And just finally goes down. Now look like number 20, James Gauntlet. Didn't want to go down. But the Gauntlet. Does he come oh, down our hallway? That's, I mean, I was going to say, that's a pretty good uh, last name here. <laughs> so let's see what the Panthers got going here, Mr. Russell. We were told their two big studs are, uh, are number one, Brian Holmes, and number eight, Cam Marshall. And I said, that must be the quarterback and the running back. So, yep, Holmes in the shotgun. And Marshall's going to be split out to the right. And they also have trips to the right, one to the left, one in the backfield. And Holmes dropped back, looking for... Oh! And just bobbled. Good pursuit there by Axel Ramos to break it up. I think the, the hit just got there at the perfect time and interrupted. I mean, it was bobbled, but probably could have caught it if it weren't for the, uh, the tackle. Yeah, good job there by Ramos. So incomplete. Sweet child of mine, Axel Ramos, doing it on offense and defense so far. So the Panthers come out throwing as they go trips again to the right, one to the left. How many teams, high school teams, have we seen this season throwing? A lot. Yeah. And he goes right there to Gauntlet, and he's going to get the first down. What a cannon, a bullet by Holmes to Gauntlet. Sorry, Marshall. Gauntlet's number 20. Correct. He's a big body too. Uh, what do you think? How, how tall do you think he is? Six, Ooh. six feet from up here. Yeah, six two. Well, if he stands next to Mr. Popecki, we'll know he's about ten feet tall. Uh oh, we already found oh, a lost already a lost item. Wow. Here we go, Holmes again. Looking again, Marshall. No, that is. Yep, Marshall. That looked like good for the first down. It looked like we looked at the replay here. I think it's the exact same play, just a slant. Man, he just finds his way right in the middle there. Now, so what the Gales were able to do running the football to start on their first drive, Ayers doing it now, throwing the ball. Well, 
And they go up with the same set here. Well, why not? But it's working. Yeah, defense hasn't shown they can stop it yet. Oh, and uh, oh, a nice catch there. That was Gauntlet. Yeah, spun him around. Yeah, it looked like Gauntlet was looking for the shoulder to the sideline, and he threw it to the inside shoulder. So it's going to be good for a first. No, I'm sorry, not. Second down. Second and about five. And they're sticking with it. Not even changing with the hashes. They're still going trips to the right. Holmes. Look in, look in. Rolls right. Finds wide open downfield. Is Marshall, and he's going to get in easy for the touchdown. What a play by Holmes to Marshall. Now, I think that was a, more of the scrambling ability there of the quarterback. And then the defense just kind of broke down. Marshall found the soft spot wide open and no one was there. Yeah, what a throw and catch. And they did not run one running play that series. And four catches to Marshall, including the touchdown. And Holmes just doing it all is their kicker. Oh! High snap. And Marshall trying to make something of it, and no. Well, so we've got two touchdowns and two missed extra points. Yeah, just a high snap. Marshall tried to salvage, but nothing going. No one was yelling fire, apparently. Yeah, that's the call. Has anybody out there in uh, Greenlight Studios lost their phone? Do you know where your phone is this evening, ladies and gentlemen? Because we found it. We have it up here. As we are just under seven minutes left to go in the first. Yeah, fast-moving first quarter here. Yeah, two Lots quick of offenses. scores. Yeah. And two uh, failed extra points, so 6-6. Six, six. As long as it's not 6-6-6, six, 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 then we're in trouble. Well, if we get down to 57 seconds here and stop the clock. Oh, no, don't do that. Halloween already passed. Oh, that's true. All right. So we're safe. Here we go. Run back is going to be Ramos. Welcome Getting to Paradise good. City. Brings it up to about the 45-yard line. Isn't the first time you used that one? Yeah. That was a good one. Thanks. I like it. You know, so new material does someone good. I try. Well, we get new viewership. It's <laughs> playoff time, Matt. Come on. How gonna be on our toes. Of that, how many do we have here? I'll wake them up. <laughs> 65. Welcome. Welcome. They probably have it on mute, though. Yeah. Do we actually have the, vo the uh, audio on? As we got Mark Morin up the... Off tackle. Yeah, gonna grab about eight. Yeah, gonna be second and two. Yeah, everybody can hear us out there. Okay, just checking. All right, thank you, everybody. Welcome. I don't smell a fire yet, so I'm not sure oh, if Mr. Crowley's out. Yeah. Gonna go to the right side, Ramos. Get just across the 40, good for a first down. Another, another nice block. We can look at the replay real quick. Nice block here by Baby Bernard coming around. And Alex Chenard into Gale territory. Excuse me, Panther territory. <laughs> You know, I almost find myself watching this more than the uh, I've caught the myself field. too. Yeah. There we go, Morin, left side off tackle, fighting, 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 and we'll grab again about five or six, depending on the mark. Yeah, looks, looks up about five. Yeah. In case you guys don't know what we're talking about. We got a new toy in here. We do, yeah. They added our uh, monitor for us so we can 
see the replay at a better angle, and Mr. Russell and I are catching ourselves watching TV. <laughs> Is the World Series on? Can we get it on no, this TV? No, not tonight. No, not tonight. Travel day today. Yeah. As Matty Ice hands it off. Ramos right side across the 30. Right into your living room, ladies and gentlemen. Or your phone. Or your back deck. Another nice block. Yeah. Good job there. So that'll be a new set of downs. There they are. Look, they found their way up here. Stuco with the 50-50 tonight. They could probably send some donations in, from Greenlight Studio Land, can't they? No? Morin bounces off one. Gonna grab a few there, maybe four. Speaking of Stuco, have, were we, um, have we been on the air since the uh, blood drive? I don't remember. Um, I don't believe so. We uh, we got, I think, 34 pints. Um, our goal in the spring will be 40. It was a good day, though. And who did you run it with? Uh, Rhode Island Blood Center. And they're always happy. They're always looking for donations. And it's a blood shortage. It so. is. Big time. It's like Axel off the tackle. And so they said one pint could uh, save or help about three lives. That's three awesome. people. That's awesome. Yeah, that was about a week ago they ran it. Yeah, almost two now. Time flies. Oh. Yeah, next week we got Veterans Day, and then we got Thanksgiving. You get your turkey yeah, ready? I know. Maddie in her center. They have, oh, I was just about to say, having attempted a pass, and here we go. It's just going to throw it out. Axel Ramos is in the area. Now, a nice out pattern there by Axel Ramos out of the backfield, and just misfires. Although he had three well, he guys was on. triple covered, so it might have been a smart play there by Matty Dimes to just kind of get rid of it. Play to uh, live another uh, down. Speaking of Thanksgiving, Gales fans, we will be live streaming on Thanksgiving morning. Have fun. Make sure you uh, get out of bed. Could get the turkey going, and then you can turn on the tube. We'll be here. Mr. Russell won't. I'll be running the turkey trot down Virginia. You're running to Virginia? What? Oh! Goes past Zapata, who gets popped, but just a little bit out of his reach. Yeah, the pass was kind of behind Abdiel. I think if he had led him a little bit more, it would have been completed, but... Yeah, Zapata was running to the sideline, and Maddie kind of just threw it back toward the middle. So that's going to be turnover on downs, Mr. Russell. Air's going to take over now. Coming up on three minutes left to go in the first. Holmes dropping back, rolling left. Going to have to throw across his body. If anything, looking for Marshall. He's going to be out of bounds. He's calling for the catch, but no, he was out. Well, let's check the replay. That let's was see AJ. If he was. AJ on the coverage. I think he was well out of bounds. Yes, he was. Well, he thinks he dragged his feet. Covered by number 55, Arthur Kogan, who's back in the lineup tonight, Mr. Russell. Yeah, after dealing with a shoulder issue last uh, week, senior night, he couldn't play. Holmes again, dropping back. Going to take it himself, finds a lane. And a good gain there. Now, yeah, nice pressure again by the uh, interior line. I Jose Pierce Diaz. Braden O'Leary. Finally brought down by a gang of green, including number 72, Xavier Santos. 
I think this is his first game back. Is this his first game back, Mr. Pepecki? This week. Okay. And what do we got? Time. Looks like we got a timeout on air. A timeout. Uh, what are you drinking there, Mr. Uh, Mr. Russell? I got a, a pumpkin coffee from oh. Dunks. Yeah. How do you like your coffee? I just get regular. Oh. The the airplane, you know, I'm over it. You know what I was just looking up though. So Joe, why were you looking up? Look Joe Morris. You remember Joe Morris? I do. Joe Morris. Yeah. So air Joe, high graduate. Joe Morris, air high graduate. And I believe my dad was either a senior or maybe just out when he was a freshman. But I know my dad played with him. I actually have a signed picture of Joe Morris in my basement. Played with at Air High School. Yep, at Air High School. That means Tony Gannon coached him. You know what that means? In, in Air. Interesting. Hey, man. No way. Yeah? Another timeout. I like stories. Maybe I have to double check that, but I believe that Tony Gannon was football coach at Air High School and coach Joe Morris. No, that, yeah, Joe, he's, he played there in the, I mean, in the 80s. No, he was in the NFL in the 80s. And when did he graduate from Air High School? Well, if he was born in 1960. Graduated in 78. Okay. Maybe he was the other brother. So my dad was a little bit older than him, but I believe my dad played with him at some point in air. 68. All right, enough of the storytelling. Well, we I mean, air, game. surely, you know. Uh-oh. Here we go, and the gauntlet runs through. Yeah, and a... Is he going to get there? He's not. It's going to be taken down around the four. All right, that was, I think, just poor tackling. One, two, three missed tackles, and then he was just off to the races. And he kind of just ran out of bounds. For he was finally pushed out by Angel Lopez, number 42. And that sets up the uh, the Panthers now first and goal from the seven-yard line. Holmes. Rolling left, going to cut back. He's just all over the place. Russell Wilson out there. <laughs> Looks more like Luke Wilson than Oh, anybody. and he's just going to be taken down. Good job there by the Gales defense. Like number one, Ashton McNamara was in on the tackle. You know, I was just about to say, Mr. Russell, that one of the few run plays that Air ran was that long run right there because they've been throwing the football and then they try it again and there was just no place to go. It was a green jersey everywhere. All right, sorry. So that's going to unfortunately back them all the way up. Ball is down at the 19 yard line, still second and goal. Holmes, looking, looking, throwing, and gonna be, oh, nearly intercepted, Axel Ramos. Sweet child of mine, Axel Ramos had an interception in his hands. In the cradle. I'm not sure who, uh, what that was, whether that was a bad throw or just a uh, uh, bad route by Cam Marshall, but he overthrew the ball. But regardless, it's going to be third and goal now. Oh, 
Holmes, low snap. Looking, gonna be good to 24. Robert Weeks. That's gonna be an interesting situation here. So you get fourth and goal now from the five. And we'll see what, looks like the Panthers are gonna go for it. Holmes, looking, 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 throws right, and gonna be good as Weeks for the touchdown. I couldn't really tell, there was so much traffic. Yeah, just got in. Right down the line. Panthers retake the lead. This time the snap is good, and the extra point is good. So now the teams come back up field. Air Shirley 13, Gales 6, with about five seconds left to go in the first quarter, and a pretty exciting first quarter. Yeah. like we've got Mr. Flanagan on the sideline tonight covering the uh, oh yeah the Gales yeah fresh off his trip from Lynn yeah yesterday to see his daughter Mickety Mac McKenna and again a great season for the uh, the Gales field hockey team first league title in program history and that was, that was a fun fall for them. It was. I, I enjoyed going to those games. They played really well. So we got the kickoff here. Yeah. Looks like the Gales are gonna start the second quarter with the ball at their own, well, I think they're marking about the 42 yard line. So good field position as we get ready to switch ends. Checking to see if we get any updates, Mr. Russell, from uh, from the South Coast. Can't really find much so far. You know what, I, I realize I don't even have to stand, I can just watch this thing. <laughs> Correct. That's fine. I got one update, Oakmont 15, Sandwich 7. Oof. Sandwich. We've had, we had Oakmont here. There has been some traveling going on this first round of the uh, states in all sports. Yeah, and gas prices aren't going down either. Especially for buses. So it's the second quarter, so I can do this now? Oh yeah, it's off to you. Oh, thanks. The real voice. Oh, just the face. <laughs> Thank God we can't see it. Amen. <laughs> All right, so we lost a yard there. So we get second and about 11 here. Fake the handoff. Maddie Dimes looking Ooh, for FDO. Had him too. He had him. Uh, a little too much mustard on that hot dog. The, um, the the play action, you're going to see it here. The play action to the right side drew off that corner, and he had him if the throw was just a little bit shorter. Yeah, it looked like he put a little too much air on it. If he had kept it lower, could have hit him in stride. But regardless, brings up third and long now. Yeah. 
Yeah, the other side. There we go. Oh, Matt looking, looking, looking. Oh, and that was tipped, and that's just a fly. Oh! That looked like the Mac Jones interception against oh. the uh, the Jets last week where he went back to pass. Marshall had an opportunity here, and you can see just got his arm was just kind of floating up there, and he has a beat on it. Just kind of almost mistimed his jump. So a gift for the Gales. But they are going to have to punt. So we got Chenard back. Looks like he's calling. Is he calling for another body? Oh boy, what's this? We got Marshall. A little squib kick. And he's out of bounds. No laundry. Oh, there is laundry. I was going to say, it had to, it had to have yeah. been for too many men because Abdiel Zapata. But I, I was watching Alex Chenard saying. If there was only 10 men out there? That's the first uh, penalty of the game. We get Billy Goslin in the white hat tonight. So Abdiel was the, the 12th man. So Air's going to start first and 10 from their own 48 as we switch footballs. Did you check the PSI on those? Well, so during gym class, we have a certain curriculum where we do go through and you check the You have curriculum in gym class? Come on. Yeah. You check the PSI? Yeah, we do. Uh -huh. That's part of our... Uh our stuff. What does PSI stand for? Um, probably <laughs> sitting inside. <laughs> probably sitting inside. Is that it? Yep. No. no. Which is what we you're, do in gym. You're, you're closer than AMSA. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh boy. We gotta get ready. We gotta get ready for basketball season, there, buddy. Yeah, well, you gotta you gotta <laughs> pump up the ba the basketballs. All right, here we go. Second down, in the shotgun. Looking, 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 looking. Oh. Look uh oh, Marshall. Oh, and just through the fingertips. Defended by number 14, Troy Ween. Yeah, that could have been a long completion. Yeah, and it was a good throw too here by Holmes. Looking left and had him too, just through the hands. So regardless, it's still going to bring up third down. Uh oh, we better yeah, we, behave we, ourselves. We got the 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 principal, the physics teacher uh, chiming in uh, here. Former physics. He's not teaching anymore. <laughs> Telling us the PSI is what is it? Parts per square inch, there, boss. Ask the Colts. Oh, we're coming to Foxborough this weekend. Here we go, third and long. Holmes on the Ooh. run. He is he is shifty. And, and he's gonna be finally yeah. brought down. Up oh, and Xavier Santos is all pumped up. His first game this week. <laughs> we gotta give some credit there to number 26, Isaiah Gomes Red, who had good containment right yeah, there. Yeah, he did. Pushed him back inside. That allowed Xavier Santos to get the sack. So that brings up fourth and a Townsend mile here. So it looks like we're going to have a punt. Ayers for his punt of the game. Another high snap. Oh. And Abdiel is going to be taken down at about... The 23 or 4. Oh, the Gales are going to start first and 10 now. From their own 18 yard line, it looks like. As we are now under 10 minutes to go in the first half. 
here in the first round of the Division 7 playoffs. Thank goodness we don't have to travel to Monument Mountain or St. Mary's Lynn or Nantucket. I once knew a man from Nantucket, by the way. Did I ever tell you that? Did he have... All right. What? Phillips under center, hands it off. Sweet child of mine, busting around the corner, coming into Paradise City, Ooh. and he's off for the race. And he's gonna be dragged down at the 50. Oh, and the cameraman goes down. Oh, did he? <laughs> Uh-oh. As we see the replay, oh boy, coming right to your cell phone. Oh. And boom. Oh. <laughs> How much does that camera cost, Mr. Morrison? That was a great run by Axel Ramos. Good 30-yard run here. Brings him to the 48-yard line. One thing anyway, the Gales have definitely been able to run the football tonight, Mr. Russell. There goes Chenard up the middle. Looks like that he's gonna pick up about uh, seven. Give him six. So they mark the ball now inside air territory at the 46 yard line. As we come up on under nine minutes left to go in the half. We check on the cameraman, is he all right? Oh. Chenard on the sweep. He's gonna be brought down by a couple of Panthers. Yeah, just nowhere to go. Actually got a, all things considered, Positive gainage there is pretty good, but kind of stuffed in the hole. Uh, brought down by a few Panthers there. Number 50, Jack Janot. Not before he picks up a couple. So that's going to bring up about third and two from the 44-yard line. Clock continues to run now. About eight minutes left to go in the first half. Phillips to Should Morin. For the first down. And they're moving the sticks. It is. Yeah, move the chains. Just like what uh, Hilton does in golf. Move the chains. It takes them seven shots, but you know. You two become like uh, golf buddies now, huh? Hey. Like the odd couple out there on a golf cart. <laughs> it's not pretty. I'm sure it's not. They're starting to stack the box here. But Chenard Whoa. finds daylight. Ooh. He's brought down. It's like number 51, Caesar da Costa. Yeah, they, sh they showed blitz and then ran to the right, cut back left, and good uh, yeah, good defense there. Now, there's been a couple of plays I've noticed that Ayers got about a good five, six kids in the box, maybe seven. Trying to stop the run, because that's the MO tonight for the Gales. They've definitely been able to run the ball. So that brings up second and short here. Handed off again, this time to Ramos. Oof. He turns the corner. That's always scary when, and no, by, no fault of the defense player's uh, own, but when a defensive player goes low and the offensive player gets tackled high, that's always a scary, scary sight. 101 viewers here, Derek. We hit the century mark. We hit the century mark. Yes. Welcome, everybody. We got a great game so far. Air leads Clinton 13 to six as the clock continues to run. About six and a half left to go in the first half on a beautiful night for football. It is, it's, it's been gorgeous. So we got the cheerleaders down there doing their thing. It looks like Grace Alvarado, as we got a handoff to Morin off tackle. He doesn't want to go down. See, they probably give him, probably give him about six. And mark the ball. 21 yard line. So that brings up second and five. <clears throat> Phillips.
Phillips. Hand off to Chenard, trying to Ooh. turn. Good play there. I think that was 50 who grabbed him, Jack Janot. Yeah, Alex Chenard, Janot going to get through that. <laughs> you like that one? Uh. Sorry, we didn't we didn't give our blanket apology if we mispronounced names, by the way, Mr. Russell. Well, so. that was a good pun, though. Yeah. Oh, thanks. I'm punny. Oh, thank goodness it's Friday. <laughs> All right, so we got third and l about six. Phillips oh. under pressure, looking. Lowe's going to have a catch. And a touchdown. What a play. Acrobatic catch by Abdiel Zapata. If we could go to the replay. Uh, that looked like it was just yeah. thrown up there. Great job, though, by Maddie to get some separation. And, yeah, the jump ball, and Zapata wins it. Went up for the rebound and came down with the putback. So the Gales touchdown. So the Gales are going to go for two here now. Looking, looking, looking. And he chucks that one over to the high school. And apparently the touchdown, by the way, was caught by number six. Any chance we still have the replay, Mr. Popecki? Did we already lose it of the touchdown? Connor DeVoe, a freshman. Can't tell from the from the down angle, but we're being told that it was Connor DeVoe, number six. So we apologize, Connor. Grats on the touchdown. So the teams come back upfield. We've got Air 13, the Gales 12, 447 left to go in the first half. Oh yeah, everybody's yelling at us. It's number six, Connor DeVoe. They scored. Yeah. And that catch look that catch looked very reminiscent of Principal Cermak when he was playing back in the late eighties. <laughs> and the kickoff. Holmes running around. Still going on his feet. He doesn't want to go down. Across the 50. Finally brought down. It's like Tucker Hool and host of others. So Ayer's going to have great field position here to start. So my, my dad just texted me. There was a uh, Sports Illustrated article when Joe was playing for the Giants describing Ayer as a scruffy little town. It is. And they're, they're playing pretty scruffy right now, just moving that ball down the field. Well, that was a scruffy play by DeVoe for that catch. Make this a one-point game with 4.35 left to go in the first half, but Ayer's got the ball here. Starting in Gale territory. Holmes and shotgun again, but this time he hands yeah, it off to the gauntlet. Up. And he doesn't get much. Looks like Xavier Santos on the stop. After a gain of about two. That brings up second and eight. I can't wait, Mr. Russell, and Four minutes and 11 seconds, I can eat my pulled pork sandwich from <laughs> Mr. Morrison. <laughs> and we'll have the 50-50 uh, raffle coming up at halftime, wherever my hooligans are. Stuco. Holmes again, shotgun. Shocker. Looking, looking, looking. He's being chased again. Jose Pierce Diaz on the... Oh, that's a fumble, a forward pass, or what is I that? I think they're going to call it an incomplete. Can we see the? We get the replay on that one. Well, you Mr. can't fumble forward out of bounds. Just go back to the original spot. Correct. You can't I gain. Well, we'll have to check in with Gene Steritor. Gene. Right. You can't 
Yeah, you cannot fumble forward and gain the yardage out of bounds. So they're marking the, oh, we got a flag now. So it looks like we had a zebra convention and intentional grounding. Well, I thought he was well outside. Uh, no, but maybe the ball didn't get to the line of scrimmage, Oh, is that what Gene? it was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so nice to have Gene It is, it really is. We don't know what we're doing. No, just look good. <laughs> Thanks for speaking for me. You're welcome. So it looks like we've got uh, third and a pepperal mile here for the Panthers. Holmes in the shotgun again. Oh, going deep. Oh, and just overshot Marshall with a wean on the coverage. It looks like they also had number 10, Nick Zoltani, out there, too. So that's going to bring out fourth and long. And what started as great field position for the Panthers is dropped them way back into their own territory. And I would imagine this is a punting situation. And looks like it is. And it looks like it's going to be weeks back there. And we got Abdiel Zapata back again for the Gales to receive the punt. Nice punt this time. The puddle lets it bounce again, and might as well, oh, I thought that might have. Oh, now yeah, we've got a block in the back. A couple of flags. Yeah. So the return for now is coming out to about the 15. You can see here, yeah, as the puddle lets it bounce, and yeah, good call. I, I saw the whole thing. Yeah, good call. <laughs> Yeah, good call. <laughs> As the uh, air fan section gets into it over there, Mr. Russell. Yeah. So that's going to back up the, ga uh, the Gales. They're going to start first and 10 from their own, uh, looks like about the four yard line. With just maybe, about, maybe the three and a half yard line. Yeah, almost three minutes coming up, 319. So you would imagine if they kind of run some clock out here, score before they have, you know, air gets the ball back. So, to start the second you half. don't want to give it up to them and have them do the double dip. Because we're going to run up the gut. Looks like Morin for about six. So that brings up second and four. Ball at the, looks like the nine yard line. Hand off. Oh, good defense there up front by the Panthers. Uh, not much for Chenard, but he's going to be close to the first down, though. Looks like he's going to be just short, so he's going to be third and one. Got a sneak here by Phillips. That you saw that either the the secondary or that deep linebacker. You can see it here. Can't see what number if we have the view. Almost try to times up the snap right there through the middle. Tries to clog it up, but the push was there, so it gives the Gales a first down. So it's going to be first and ten now from their own 18-yard line. Clock continues to run at about one and a half now left to go in the first. Half, that is. Hand off up the gut from Morin. Yeah, good job there. Spinning off. Good blocking up front. And that's going to be enough for a first down. 
And so we got it coming right in. Right through. Oh, we got Stuco here. We getting ready for uh, who gets to pull it? Make sure that it's not 70 30 like Mr. Zapantis. Axel trying to get the corner. He picks up a couple, brought down by Marshall. Axel Ramos is trying to dance around. They do give him about five yards, though. Clock uh, has stopped. Under one minute now. <clears throat> yeah, as we're getting ready for the raffle here. Sorry, I'm just trying to yeah, sure, get whatever. those things it's together. It's all right. My shoulders are starting to hurt. That's all right. As usual, got to carry this booth. And we got another timeout. Yeah, you want me to take over? It's all right. Go ahead. Yes, please. Okay. You got it. I know I know. you got to let the good Parento back there try to count. So we've got 58 seconds left to go in the half. <clears throat> Air leading 13 to 12. The Division 7 state playoffs first round here at Clinton High School. As we look to see what else is going around. Can we get the ticker up? Is, is there like a score ticker we can get up there, Mr. Pepecki? Is that, no? <laughs> Nothing. Coming out of the timeout. All right, I'm back. You sure? Yeah. You take one second if you need to. The, the pot is 333 tonight for the 50 50. Oh, nice play here by Axel. He's out of bounds. And we had a great play here. Yeah, screen the, to the left. With the caravan in front of him, right into your living room again, ladies and gentlemen. So he gets out of bounds. Clock stops at 53 seconds. Ball's marked at the 45-yard line of Clinton. Before halftime, do we have an update on Drury and Cohasset? Uh, I'm no looking. update. I'm looking. Can't seem to find Eddie anything. Eddie Phillips rolls right. Everyone's covered. He takes off and out of bounds inside air territory. That'll stop the clock at 43 seconds. Nice run there. No one covered. I got Wachusett 7, Zavarian 7, the end of first quarter. Down in uh, Westwood is that game tonight. I got uh, Kyrie Irving being suspended. No one cares about that. He can, he can be suspended for the rest of his career as far as I'm concerned. Here we go. Oh, and a little reverse here, a little joker. With Phillips on the on the block, and Axel and takes off. Yeah, he's going to get out around the 20 or 18. Again, right into your living room. Yeah, a little joker play here. Handoff left comes back, or handoff right comes back left. And he just takes off to the races. Yeah, he had Louis Parento out there too. Oh, the other Parento. And they mark it down at the 20-yard line, so the Gales got first and 10 with something cooking here and only 33 seconds left. They get plenty of time here. It'll be huge for them to score before the half as the Panthers get the ball and start the second. 
And I think Clinton still has about 17 timeouts left, so. That's it. At least 17. Oh, and we're gonna get a flag here. Uh, delay a game. That's interesting. We got an update from Cohasset. There we up. got 20 to nothing over Drury. 20 to nothing over Down Drury. on the south coast. About seven and a half left to go in the first half down there. So Phillips looking and overthrows Abdiel. So that's going to bring up second and long. And again, a reminder that the winner of this game will play the winner of Cohasset and Drury. Cohasset currently leading down there, 20 to nothing. Cohasset's always good in football. I remember those South Shore teams, Cohasset, Situate. So, second and long, Phillips in the shotgun here. Gets pressure oh, from the Oh, and he's got a lane up the middle. And he's going to get out of bounds around the 11. They're going to mark him out at about... at the 15, maybe 14 and a half. Oh, that's a bad spot. He stepped out at... Well, they're marking it at the 14-yard line now. So 16 seconds left to go. Play coming in. Ethan Frisch is wide. And we got a timeout. Timeout by the Panthers. Yeah, that was an interesting setup because you saw Ethan Frisch lined up wide with Axel Ramos and there was no one out there to guard him. So quick timeout by the defense. Again, we gotta we gotta make sure we shout out to Mr. Z's downtown Clinton for the yeah. pizza tonight and the snack shack. And we still have about a hundred. I know one of them watching is uh, Dr. Meyer, so you gotta be sure we're on your uh -oh. absolute best behavior. So 16 seconds, third and four on the 14. Looks like Phillips and shotgun. Again. Oh, hand off to Morin. He's, He's got a lead. He should get there. Big Parento. Setting the uh, the block in front, and Morin's in for the touchdown. Yeah, just a simple off tackle between the tackles run, and just has a lane. Again, was that Louis Parento or Jose Pius Diaz? No, it was Louis, yeah. 75. Yeah. And, and so with nine seconds, Yales take lead. Now let's see if they go for one or two this time again. Looks like they might be going for... They are going for two. Looks like we got Connor Cox in the backfield now with Morin. And we got Designed. a roll, roll, roll. Designed run. And Not going to get there. Nope. Phillips is brought down. So the two-point conversion is no good. So with nine seconds left, the teams come back up field with the Gales now leading 18-13. We had a feeling it was going to be a barn burner, Mr. Russell. Yeah, and so uh, 
Oof, we're gonna have a good second half, I can tell you that. I'm gonna have a good half when I eat this uh, pulled pork sandwich. Is that the halftime show? We're gonna have you on the camera? Nope. It's my halftime meal, though. <laughs> As we see the cheerleaders. Jersey night, you said? It is Jersey night. A couple of Gronkowski jerseys out there, huh? Tom Brady, God rest his soul. <laughs> Cheerleaders will be competing, what was it, on Sunday? Sunday, around 12.30 at Lemonster High School. And the soccer team going to Great Barrington tomorrow. Girls soccer. They're leaving tonight, right at the conclusion of this game. And Gauntlet's going to be dragged down. And it looks like there's zeros on the clock. And, yep, that's going to be the first half. So there we go. So stick around. We'll be back in about 5 or 10. 10. All right, who wants to pick the ticket?
Here we go. Welcome back. Gales ready to kick off to the Panthers. Start the second half. They have a five-point advantage, 18-13, in this first round of the playoffs. And a crazy first half it was, too. Different, way different philosophies here, Mr. Russell, right? Gales ground and pound, and air looks like the uh, the red gun offense of the Buffalo Bills of the 1990s. Yeah, they are slinging all over the field to Holmes to Marshall, and we'll see what this second half brings as we get set. And here we go, a little squibber. And that's going to be Holmes reversing all the way across the field. And he will be dropped around the, what do you say, 31? Oh, looks like they're marking at the 35-yard line. 35? Yes. You're right. So the white line in between the 30 uh, that and the 40. That's that would be 35. No. That's not in the phys ed curriculum, Mr. It's Russell? It's Jim. It's Jim. Oh. Who's Jim? <laughs> So here we go. First offensive possession of the second half. And again, the Panthers are sticking with their split wide set. Two to the right motion here by Weeks, and they're going to run it up the middle. No, and not. Marshall's going to be stuffed. One of their few run plays, and that went nowhere. Looks like they are giving up one. So the Panthers here. Two split out near side, one to the top of your screen. Holmes again gonna hand it off, and again, nothing going there for Marshall. Are they gonna give him? Back to the line of scrimmage. Well, they are giving them one. Yeah, so marking forward it progress. Down. Marking at the 37-yard line. So third and eight. Well, interesting. Air comes out. With two yeah, straight two straight run, run plays after passing the whole first half. Wonder if that was part of their game plan. See, but if it if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They were slinging the ball down the field the first half. So here we go. Holmes will drop back, looking left, looking right. Gonna step up, and he's got some room. Oh, and it lowers his shoulder across the 50. And he's gonna grab the first down. Brought down by Nick Zoltani, yeah. number 10. I mean, that's just a, that's him wanting it, wanting that first down. Great view there. Yeah, not even refusing to go out of bounds. Looks like they marked the ball inside Gale territory here. Holmes looking left, coming back, throwing, no one home. Oh, he had, can we see the replay? I don't know what we got on the replay, but he had Cam Marshall wide open on the on the far side, right there he at the did. 40. Yep. There was no one around him. It's kind of surprising that he rolled to the opposite direction because they've been throwing a Marshall though almost the entire game, and he rolled away from him. That could have been a huge gain for air, but missed opportunity, so it's second down and 10. So Weeks to the right, trips to the left, one in the backfield. Dropping back, oh. wanting to go left, was pushed, ooh! And he's gonna be taken down. We get the replay on that one. Xavier Santos came out of like a cannon right up the middle, and I'm surprised they didn't call holding because right there, he was grabbed. And I think that was ultimately uh, Brennan Bernard. Baby Bernard? The, the tackle.
So Air is going to lose quite a bit of yardage here. Third and 17. That was a nice call by uh, defensive coordinator Harold Ogilvy, sending Santos right up the gut. So we'll see what the Panthers here got with third and long. Pass down the middle and knocked away. Just kind of dropping back into that zone read in the middle, it looks like. And again, it was it was a slant. Oh, no, I'm sorry, up the seam. Looked like for Gauntlet. But it was a nice read by uh, Marky Morin. So that's going to uh, force an air punt. Oh, and a high snap. That's going all the way back. And he still gets it off. And we've got... And it looks like officials... They're going to... As we take a look at the replay, it was yeah, clearly another high, high snap, snap, right? Which has been a kind of a theme all night. But here's the question is what exactly... So it looks like they get the ball at the 20-yard line. So they must have said he got the kick off. And then it went out of bounds at the 20. So it looks like that's where the Gales are starting, Mr. Russell. Yeah. Great opportunity here to start the uh, third quarter. Direct snap to Chenard. He bounces off one. Oh, there wasn't a direct snap. He handed it off. What were you looking at? Put your glasses on. Well, I got a, I got a, a view here that's... Either way, it was a great run by Alex Chenard. So that sets up first and goal. Where they mark it at the eight yard line. This is a nice view right here, ladies and gentlemen. On your computers or your tablets, Warren and Ramos is going to be dragged down in the backfield for a loss. Good job there by the Panthers defense. Is that 68 who got through? I see 16, Caleb McGinley. Marking him down at what, the 11 yard line? So, second and goal now. Huge crowd here tonight, Mr. Russell. There was. There is. Good 50 50 raffle. It was a great 50 50. Uh, raised 666. So, three. Oh, we boy. got to keep 333. Those numbers are cursed. No. Phillips on the keeper. And he's going to get in. What a move. What a move. Let's see if we can get it from this sideline. Right. Zoop. Right there. Sneaks through. Maddie Dimes with the keeper. Just like that. 24-13. Gale lead. Now it looks like they might be going for two which I think is a wise decision here because well, as long as you think put it, it put it at two scores well you know there's a lot of th I say it all the time in class just because I say it doesn't mean anything I'm just a stupid history teacher <laughs> all the time repeat myself they are going for two motion there with the flip and should be in and he is Shanad for two
We got an update from Cohasset. 34 nothing at halftime. Cohasset over Drury. Squib down the middle. That is Marshall looking for a lane, dancing around. I saw McNamara in on that tackle. Among others. So it looks like they're down in the ball at about the 35. That's where the Panthers will start. It's actually where they started the last time, if you remember. <clears throat> so we'll see how this one goes. So here we go, Holmes shotgun. Similar look as they have all night and a little option here and Holmes has a lane and he splits a defense and he's going up the left seam and he's gonna be taken out around the 14. What a, what a run. Yeah, it, I mean that's what just, speed that too. Speed. Yeah, he puts on the Jets right there, I guess through that, splits the defense in half. Looks like Isaiah Gomes red on the tackle to finally bring him down. But not before he picks up massive yardage. And it looks like they get the ball at the 17 yard line. I do have another final, Mr. Russell. Uh, Oakmont over Sandwich, 25 22 wow. down on the Cape. So, congrats to uh, Coach Kaiser. That game was already over. What time did they start at? Uh, right after the golf course is closed. And that's going to be a first down. Because once the golf course is closed and sandwiched, there's nothing else to do. Well, you can make a sandwich. You could. They do that during the game. While watching the game. So, Holmes again, shotgun, tripped out to the right, one to the left, one in the backfield. Holmes going to take it himself and should get in. And he is. Fake the handoff to Gauntlet, and I actually was watching Gauntlet. But the keeper now gets the, uh, gets the Panthers right back into this game after the Gale touchdown. I'll see what the Panthers do here. They're going to go for two. Seven point game. Well, looks like they're setting up for the extra point. That looks no good. Yeah. That's wide. So it'll stay a seven point game. Wow, if we were playing the uh, Super Bowl squares here, <laughs> some good numbers to pop up. Six and nine, huh? Well, we knew we'd be in for an entertaining football game, Mr. Russell, and we're not disappointed, that's for sure. Yeah. As we got six minutes left to go here in the third quarter. Had some nice... Uh, Nice visitors at halftime. Some oh, CHS yeah, some, grads. Some uh, alumni, if you will. Josh Seidel. Patrick Morin. Josh seems to be doing pretty well up at uh, Fitchburg State. LaSalle. LaSalle, that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Patty M over at WPI. Whoopee! Ooh. Yeah, there's the. Here comes the laundry. Uh, I think we're going to get a face mask. Looks like Nick Zoltini was brought down. Thank you. 
Chouinard. Coming left side near Hash. Bounces off one. Gales have had an answer here right after yeah, Air and in seven. After Air had their their own drive. Gonna be coming here to the near side. Not much room and pushed out. Uh, he still picks up a couple though. We got third and about four. <clears throat> third and four. Maddie Ice coming with the call. Got Ramos Zapata split out to the right. Gonna go to Morin up the middle. And will be just shy. Yeah. So fourth and one. I think they're marking them down. Yeah, about a half a yard short. So kind of a big decision here, although I'd imagine that the Gales are gonna go for it. Yep. And a seven point game here. With Maybe a little Matty Ice sneak again. Oh, he's got the middle wide open. He also could just give it to Morin. No, he's gonna take it himself. Yeah, yeah, he's easy. Still pushing the pile. He's still going too. Oh, finally brought down at the 25 yard line. We watched the replay, just didn't want to go down. Of course, the officials didn't blow a whistle. And he's off. So that's going to be first and 10. So a new set of downs, first and 10. <clears throat> 25. Run left, Ramos has a lane, oh, and taken down. Gonna pick up some good yardage though. Again, ground and pound for the Gales tonight. Couple of sweeps they've had here off tackle. And that's all they need to keep doing. Five, six, seven yards, keep the clock running. Wear down the air defense. So you, see some, uh, you see some hands on some hips out there, Mr. Russell. Yeah, kind of like looks like you at the end of a seventh period. Oh, gym class. I see you when you come in, you know. You walk by my classroom. Oof, out of breath. You ain't kidding. Axel up the yep. cut. Up again, and I think he's going to have enough for the first down. He is. They're waving it on. First down. Do I see a Paul O'Neill jersey? Yankees Paul O'Neill? It is. Uh, didn't they just retire his number too? Of course, I think every number is retired in this <laughs> freaking Yankee Stadium. First and ten. Gales marching outfield and killing some time here. As the clock continues to run, about 2.20 left. Chenard had a hole briefly. Carried by number 23, Alex Chenard. Chenard's over 100 yards rushing this evening. Do you know Alex Chenard had over 1,000 yards already this season during the regular season? I believe it. Crushed it this senior year.
as he takes a break. We got Morin. Yeah, this is going to go right up the middle. Get pushed back. His foot is tied up. I think he gained anything, though. Clock now at about a minute and a half left to go in the third quarter. On this De 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 Division 7 playoff game. Got my tank tangled there. Sorry, folks. Coming up on a minute left to go. And yeah, uh... Morin's down on the sideline. I, I saw someone twist up his leg pretty good in that last play. Stretching. Axel tries to turn the corner. Number 23, Alex Chenard with the carry. So fourth down here. And not a not a short five. No. Maddie's gonna roll out right. Looks like he's gonna run flag down. And for the time being, it looks like he got there, but I think this one's coming back. Well, you imagine, I guess it's going to depend on the spot of the yeah. football, right? If they're short, probably decline. Oh, well, obviously. Yeah, because then it'll be turnover, yeah, turnover on, on downs. downs, which just depends where the spot is. So I'd imagine that they're going to have to measure here. I think... Might need to go to the top camera there, Mr. Uh, Mr. Popecki. <clears throat> and get a little bit of an angle here. No, the other refs. And you want to zoom in, not out. There we go. Okay. That's better. And, and they're going to be short. Yeah. Wow. So the Gales don't make it on fourth down. So Air's going to take over. And this is going to be the start of the final frame. Correct. That's the end of the third quarter. Score. Gales 26, Air 19. We got a bond burner going here, Mr. Russell. Yeah, one possession game. And it could come down to whoever has the ball last, the way this, uh, this game's been going. So now they got to go all the way the length of the field. Should we send it over to uh, to Jenny Dell in the studios for an update? <laughs> Abby Chin? No, that's, that's basketball. basketball. Come on. At least get the sport right. Let's see if we can get some updates. We got Bedford. On Worcester South, 29 nothing after three. Algonquin up 20 to seven over Fitchburg. Wow. Oxford 33 to zero over Taconit. We talked about the final on the Cape. Oakmont 25-22 over Sandwich. Hudson leading 34 to 10. 34 to 10 over who? That's a good question. I forget who they're playing. Didn't have it on that update. All right, so Ayers taking over here. First and 10. Yeah, turn it back over. And we got a nice little move here by Holmes. Because he picks up some good yardage. Finally knocked out of bounds by Xavier Santos. But not before he picks up a first down. 
So they're going to mark the ball at the 24-yard line. And the Panthers are on the march again. Someone needs to stick the Panthers in the cage. <laughs> I was holding off on that one. Not tame them? Oh, you could do that too. Holmes in the shotgun. Oof. Yeah, bobbled snap. Takes it up the gut though. Still is able to pick up about six. And Marky Morin's back in there, so obviously whatever was going on, he worked it out. And he's limping a little bit. No, it's a playoff game though, and he's a senior. I'm sure he doesn't want to come out. I'm sure he's gonna do everything he possibly can to stay in the game. As Holmes gets the call. They've got trips wide right. Including Marshall. Holmes keeping oh, it. He goes right into, right into Jose Pierce Diaz, who held his ground. And there's going to be a loss of a couple on the play. Yeah, JDP just blew that thing up. Nice swim move. You see that? I did. Nice job, too, by Braden O'Leary, number 66, hold his spot so that Holmes couldn't go anywhere. So that brings up third and long now for the Panthers. As the clock continues to run, about ten and a half left to go in the game. Holmes in the shotgun. It's like the same play here. He's got Marshall Ooh. in the background and pitches it. Oof. And nice, nice play. Stick. Yeah. Was that Axel Ramos? It looked like number 33. That came up. Sweet child of mine. And you can see him as soon as he recognizes the pitch to the right, you're going to see him, yep, just swoop in. Good job there by Axel. He had to run about 10 yards, too, to get there. Yeah, good, good closure. So that brings up fourth and long here. And Air is going to punt. At least they're setting up for the punt anyway. And, and, he, and it is a high break. snap again into the end zone. And he downs it. And that's going to be a... That, uh, that should be a safety. safety. The same thing. We've seen that a few times. Uh-oh, we got a... And that's weeks down in the end zone. I don't know if he... Couldn't tell what happened. I mean, it, he landed on top of the ball. I don't know if he... Uh, Go back to the replay. Again, high snap. How many times have we seen that tonight? And he falls on the ball. Yeah. That and, doesn't uh, feel good. We hope he's okay. No. And who landed on him? Because he had a hard time getting up, too. Was that? So as we get tended to... We do have the best trainer in Central Mass out there, Laura Hilliger. Air Panther, Air Shirley Panther trainer out there as well. Yeah, Robert Weeks, the one who's down, and he stayed down, so we're hoping, hoping he's okay, of course. I thought maybe he just got the wind knocked out of him, maybe with the Landed ball. Landed on the ball. Uh, and then a body on cage top. Or something. Yeah. yeah. But we can only speculate, but. <laughs> and it looks like he's. Slowly. Yeah. yeah. Gonna be. Aided off. Let's see here. It looks like, yeah, maybe something with the leg. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it did, it, if, um... Yeah, and it, it looked like whoever came in hit that leg into the ground in a weird kind of... So, but he's up. He's moving, so that's a good sign.
So um, I'm trying to think. That might be the uh -oh. fourth or yeah, I know. I'm trying to think. That might be the fourth or fifth high snap, and obviously the second one that went over a punter's head for for some damage. Yeah, earlier in the game, you're right. Had the high snap and tried to kick it. That was back in the last quarter. So that's that's kind of big because now that's back to a two-score uh, And the game Gales here. are going to get the ball. Correct. After the safety now comes the free kick from the Panthers. Trying to check on scores. The last update we had was Cohasset up 34 to nothing at the half. Narragansett had to play Hull this evening. Hull's up 42 to nothing after three. Here comes the free kick. And it looks like Holmes is going to be taking the kick for the Panthers. So there's a pot in the middle, and the Gales are going to have good field position. And yeah. he's still rumbling. Yeah. Across the 30. So he's going to be brought down about the 29 yard line of air. And that's where the Gales are going to take over with great field position. Still plenty of time left, though, here, pal. Still nine and a half left to go in the game. The Gales up nine. And we get some laundry on the field here. On sportsmanlike conduct on the, on the defense. So that's going to be another 15 yards. Like we're getting a little chippy out here. I mean, it is a playoff game, but they're going to spot the ball now at the 15-yard line. So, putting the air defense on their heels now. Must be a Drury day out in Drury. Uh, 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 uh. No? <laughs> I, well, I tried. I tried. I got another update. St. Bernard's 34 to nothing over Mashby after three. The Bernardians. All right, here we go, back in action. Uh, Hudson was playing Swamscut, by the way. Whew, I finally got that one. Maddie gonna go to Axel, trying to find something. Ooh. Now we got a yeah, hold. That's gonna be on Sear. And he's in for the touchdown, but unfortunately that's coming back. So Trevor had a little too much jersey there. Yeah. That wasn't a hole. That was a baseball. That was a holiday that was hug. <laughs> yeah. So that's going to back up the Gales. 10 yards. So it's going to bring back first and 20. Still a two-score game here, though, Mr. Russell. I mean, nine minutes left. Anything could happen. Although it seems like Ayers kind of lost the wind in their sails, huh? Yeah, last uh, few possessions. 
Chenard try to go off tackle. Well, snuffed the, out. The defense has been keeping them really in the game. The offense, though, as of late, you're right, Derek. It just kind of stalling. Yeah, after the hot start that they had, too, passing the football, marching down the field, couple of quick scores. So second and long. Ball at about the 22-yard line. Phillips in the shotgun here. Looking. Oof. Had Fritter too. Yeah, wide open in the flat. Just missed him. I don't know if he. Looks like he short armed it. So clock stops, 8.20 left to go in the game. Third and long. You gotta imagine this is four down territory, though, Mr. Russell. Yeah, right? I would think so. I mean, you wouldn't want to kick, try to kick an extra uh, field goal here. Oh, good timing there. Phillips looking, got him. Got Connor Cox, oh. and he's bouncing around before he's forced out of bounds at the let's see, 12 yard be line, just shy. And you would imagine that they're going to go for it. So here, yep, look, nice throw on the run, good catch, and then just lowers his shoulder, picks up that extra yardage after contact. Good call there by Coach Santa Senia. See what they call up. Well, they're talking about it, and I think they're going to, they are, going to call a timeout. So they use one of their 408 timeouts. Clock stops 810. Yeah, you got to imagine, right? You got to go for it here. Yeah. I mean, if anything, it doesn't matter whether you get it or not. I mean, if you don't get it, you pin them back. And they still have to go pretty far. And they air needs two scores here in eight minutes. 125 wow. viewers. Welcome, everybody. How is that possible? How do you have 537 views, but uh, bouncing around? Switch from their phone to their tablet, to their iPad, from the air their, their, Shirley area. Oh, you can't be serious. <sighs> Actually, I'm proud of you tonight, buddy. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Why? You only did it, uh, what, once, twice, three, three times? times a lady? Like that song? No. What was that, 1946? At least. Oh, Lionel Richie. All right, Phillips rolling and the, the jump pass. And completes the Cox. It looked like it was the yeah, same play. First down. How about that replay? Oh, Tim Tebow, circa 2008. For First well, they tried to jump it to the defense. Connor Cox just kind of finds his spot and sits there. So complete. First and goal. What do they mark it? About the two? Clock continues to run now under eight minutes. That was huge, Mr. Russell. It was. It was. Good job, too, by Cox, like knowing what you had to get, not making too much of it. He gets the ball again with yep. a caravan, be a and he's in. Connor Cox, his first touchdown of the evening. We took a look at the replay right up the gut. Simple, uh, what do they call that, power move? Now we got Pereira on for the extra point attempt. And it's good. 
As the teams come back upfield, Clinton has extended its lead now, 35-19 over the Air Shirley Panthers. About seven and a half left to go in this one, so the Panthers gonna have to get something pretty quick here. Uh, we've seen crazier things we happen. Have. So we get the cheerleaders and the Gales fight song. Do you have you figured it out yet? Oh, of aren't course. You, aren't you judging the? Uh, oh, I'm not allowed to singing? judge. Yeah, that's one of our one of our uh, Spirit Week contests. Hey, you contests. Know, you know that's me. that's the week after next. If Spirit right. Week starts. That's coming up quick. Yeah, are you ready? Oh. Stuco ready? Are you ever ready? Hey, it, it's coming, whether you like it or not. Spirit Week's great around here. For those of you who have never experienced it. And what's our goal for the food drive, Mr. Russell, this year? I think 3,000 pounds of food and 7,000 diapers is our goal and this the, year. The goals, yeah. And, and socks, gloves, Ooh. and uh-oh, that's out of bounds. So that's going to be a touchback. Hats, gloves, and mittens. So actually, a few years ago, um, they said, we got enough. <laughs> we have enough socks, oh, gloves, yeah? and mittens. Okay. Um, so we're just doing the food and diapers. And wipes, too? Just diapers. Um, I'm sh wipes would be, yes, appreciated okay. uh, for donations. All right, well, we'll have to make sure to stop by Morrison's to pick up some. <laughs> Yep, uh, Alyssa LeBlanc, who runs Diapers R Us, a former student, her nonprofit, does a great job. She's still running it. She's huh? still running it. Yep. Good for her. Class of uh, 2021. Um, is that what it was? I, I think you're right. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Ayers got some work to do here. 7 24 left to go in the game. Holmes in the shotgun, looking, Ooh. looking, and he's going to be in trouble. Kind of like my brother, but he escapes. And he managed to get a first down. Holy cow, what a play. I thought he was dead to rights, Mr. Russell. Oh, yeah, good move there. Good balance. For he's finally brought down by Arthur Kogan, 55. But not before he picks up a first down for the Panthers. So first and 10, ball at their own 32 yard line. Holmes again. And hole, Des Marshall. Is he staying in bounds? Oh, he stepped out around the 20. One. Yeah, 21. Wow, what a catch, what a concentration. They got, got Troy Ween turned around right there and then had to push him out of bounds. Another great throw by Holmes to Marshall. The big connection for the Panthers. So, yeah, so Air Shirley has something brewing here. Well, they needed some quick scores. They're in good position here at the 21 yard line of Clinton. Same setup here for the Panthers. Trips wide, but they're going to hand. Nope, we're going to RPO. And he's going to keep it. And he's pushed out of bounds by McNamara. Gain of a couple. Well, I guess they give him about six. Play comes in, but clock continue. No, clock had stopped. That's right, because he got out of bounds. So stopped at 6:30. Marshall wide to the right. Yeah, you're you're thinking that's going to be who he's, he's looking for. Yeah. It is. He was looking up the whole way, and he still makes the catch. Double covered. Holy smokes! Wow. And you could tell he was looking for him as soon as this ball was snapped. His eyes went to Marshall. Double coverage, throw it up, trust your receiver, and boom. And it looks like Axel Ramos just overran it, too. He looked like he had it. But then Marshall snuck in front, almost like a jump ball play in basketball. 
And so you would think they're going to go for two here. Yeah, down 10 now. With 6.19 left to go. Because if you get this, it's only a one score game. Oh, and they're all over Holmes. Mark Morin. Brayden O'Leary, Isaiah Gomes Red all blowing that one up. Jose Pierce Diaz, no place for him to go. So the two point conversion is no good, which is huge because that keeps it a 10 point score here. 35 25 Clinton with 6.19 left to go in the game. Do you think onside kick here, pal? Or is it too early? To try to get the ball back? I mean, you still need two scores. And they haven't really you know, been able to stop the Clinton running game. Uh, that's, the defense has been good, but the Clinton offense has been just as good. I, I didn't ask you a hard question. I just, you did. That is a hard question, okay. I think. All right. That's why, uh, that's why I'm not down there on the sideline. No, you're up here with me in the warm, warm booth. On this beautiful night. It's got to be still about 60 degrees out there. Well, Clinton's definitely anticipating it. <laughs> they have their hands teamed I would imagine there. you'd have to yeah. anyway. you got to prepare for it. Based on the time and the fact that it's still a two-score game. I mean, who knows? Maybe they'll fake it. So here we go. They are going with it. Gets the bounce, and Ween has it. Yeah, nice play. Yeah, just that uh, bounce a little too far out. Landed right in Ween's lap. Yeah, it went 10 yards. Got that extra bounce. So Clinton's going to take over at their own 45-yard line. Up 10. We do have another update from Cohasset, Gales fans. Cohasset is leading 34 to eight at the end of three. So it seems like the winner of this game will be traveling to the South Coast next Friday night on Veterans Day. Chenard off tackle. He picks up about seven. And the Gales are gonna be in a kind of a a clock management run mode, you would assume. You would assume, as they get into air territory here. Second and three from the air 48 yard line. And off, Chenard. More good blocking up front. It'll be Trevor Sear. The first, about a yard to go. Clock continues to run at about five minutes now. Just looking for him. Wait for the official. Ten seconds left to go, and he's going to keep it. And sure, yeah. Oh, oh, whoa! Oh my gosh, he ripped it out. And oh, then he it again. But it's still going to. But he's pointing back toward. Uh. Yeah. No. Okay. No, so now, yeah. Now we got the call. It's going to stay Panthers ball. Yeah. What? <laughs> Must have ripped it away. Yeah, let's, let's. I'm not sure. That's all he did. Wow, 51. That's what he did. DaCosta just ripped it out. Oh, this wow. is an interesting turn of events. 
Wow. So Air does get the ball back here. 437 left to go. Down 10. That's a huge play there. I got the ball at the 35 yard line of Clinton. Holmes looking deep Ooh, again. And he's going to be taken down. He wanted to go to Marshall Deep, who was double covered. Yeah, just all yellow hats on, uh, on top of air receivers downfield. Nowhere to go. Is that what they call a coverage sack, Mr. Russell? Sure, why not? Okay. That's what I'm going to call it here at Greenlight Studios. Call whatever you want. I'm going to. So, second and long. Holmes in the shotgun. Marshall. Going to be looking for a make. Oh, nearly intercepted but blocked. Yeah, nice block there again by uh, Marky Morin. Nice read, just dropping back into coverage, and again, looking for Marshall across the middle. So just like that, third down and 13. See if the Panthers can capitalize on that huge takeaway. Clearly this is four down territory. Under four minutes. 35-25 game. The Panthers fans coming alive here. Now we got a good contingent that came down. Holmes rolling. Oh, no. and he's going to be dropped. Jose Diaz fired up. Oh, we get some pushing and shoving going on. It's been kind of a kind of a chippy game a little bit here tonight, Mr. Russell. Yeah. Uh, deep in the game, playoff game. Yep. Motions run high. As long as no one does anything ridiculous, probably let them play. So that drops them back even further. So it's going to be fourth and a Townsend mile here. <laughs> yep. Clock continues to run now at three minutes. Some extra looking. Deep! Oh! Wow! Oh my God! Yes, Marshall for the touchdown! Are you kidding me? It's like it doesn't matter oh. how many players you put on them. You just throw it up oh, there. Oh, wow. Yeah, had double coverage again. Just threw it downfield. Trust your receiver. And Holmes to Marshall. Oh, boy. Whew. As Keith Jackson would say, we got to... Oh, Nelly! Wow. Wow. Now that's a wow, all right. So again, I, I said it earlier, and I'm going to keep repeating it. It could be whoever has the ball last year, Mr. Russell, in this playoff game. Air is going for the extra point. I wonder if they're going to call a penalty. Too many... Oh, it's blocked. No good. So it's going to remain a four-point game. Now that's huge because it's still a two-possession game. No, I'm sorry, one. What am I saying? Four. But if it, that, yeah, it just came out of nowhere. But if they did make that, that just gives them a, a, a field goal to tie. That's what I So mean. now they have to, yes. I know what you're saying. I was thinking basketball would be two possessions is four points, but that's in a few weeks. Yeah, yeah, sorry, we're getting there. So that's a huge play to block that extra point. You gotta imagine another onside kick coming. With 2.49 left to go in the game. Yeah, why not, you know, just rip it out of the running back's hands again? That, that seemed like to, oh. it went pretty well. Rip it out of the kicker's hands, how about that? I'm sure uh, that might be a conversation <laughs> after this one. So another chancy outside and. Ooh. Looks like the Gales will recover again. 
Like they said, go down. Don't risk it. That was a little that was a little iffy. This could have been jarred loose, but regardless, Clinton keeps possession. And they will start first and ten from their own 45-yard line. 244 left to go on the clock. <coughs> We got two in the backfield, handoff. Chenard trying to yeah. turn. He, oh wow, gets away from Marshall. He picks up a couple after it looked like being stopped. And I think after this one, they're gonna have one timeout. And we got a timeout on the field. As Ayers calling a timeout, clock stops with 2.32 left to go. Yeah, again, clock is your friend, Mr. Russell. I know you don't have too many, but tonight, clock is your friend right now. <laughs> Least of all you guys. Wow. <laughs> That's tough. No, I remember that next year when I'm doing the schedules and I take over the gym class. Oh, yeah? Okay. <laughs> Make you teach four classes of world history. <laughs> and we got a final down at Cohasset. 41-14 over Drury. So it's official. The winner of this game will be heading down to Cohasset next week. Here's a handoff, up Ramos the up the middle. Stopped by Holmes. Not before Axel gains about seven. And we got another timeout by the Panthers. They only have 16 left. Forty-one to fifteen. I think I misspoke. So the Panthers now out of timeouts. Two twenty-five left to go. Third and three for the Gales. I got another final for you, Mr. Russell. I think it's kind of an upset. Fitchburg 21, Algonquin 20. Wow, so they came back. They did. Yeah. For any of you high school football fans out there, that's kind of a big victory. Fitchburg going into Northboro, beating the Titans. All right, here we go. Third and five, third and three, excuse me. Hand off up the gut. Should have it. And he's got it in more. Mark Morin back into the game, and he picks up of about seven, which is more than enough he needs to pick up the first down. And the Panthers can't stop the clock. No, they use all 800 timeouts. So as we close in on the two minutes. Gale's got the ball first and 10 from the air 30, excuse me, 41 yard line. Phillips waits. Hands up the gut. No gain. The so Panthers were stacking the line there. Another final. Hudson beats Swampskit 41 to 17. Uh, Mr. Morrison wants to make sure you're okay. Make sure I'm okay? Yeah, Mr. Russell, can you just thank you for... Should we check blood pressure? Pulse? You know how to do that? <laughs> no? And off to Chenard. 
Turn the corner. Gains a few. Clock now one minute. Air cannot stop the clock. And I know my daughter's not going to be happy, but Zaverian beat Wachusa tonight, 42-21. Uh-oh! Fumble on the snap. Phillips recovers. That could have been disastrous. But he does recover. But I think that's going to do it either Should. way. As no one can stop the clock. Yeah, and that's going to be it. So the Gales take a 35-31 victory over the Panthers. They'll be traveling next week to Cohasset. I won't be. <laughs> so thank you for tuning in. A, a big victory here in the round one of the state playoffs. Yeah, final score. Congrats to uh, Air. Great season. Congrats to the Gales on the victory tonight. Picking up another first round win like they did last year. I don't know which which travel is worse, going to Wakona or going to Cohasset. I don't know. Although if it's on Friday, it'll be on a holiday, so maybe travel won't yeah. be too bad. But we'll have to see. We'll obviously have to wait for this week's games to be over before they make the decisions about uh, times and dates, but we do know the Gales will be traveling to Cohasset next week. Best of luck to the girls soccer yep. tomorrow. Great Barrington and uh, best of luck to the cheer team on their competition on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Lemonstead. Sunday. Correct. And thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you uh, soon. It was a great football season with you, my it friend. It was, it was. We'll see you in basketball. Well, I'll see you on Thanksgiving, Gales fans. Take care, everybody.